So you're considering making the move to Utah, but the dilemma is, do you purchase a home that's already existing or do you go with new construction? And this is a hot topic. This is something that everybody that makes the move here is really curious to find out what is best for them. And honestly, it, there's no way to answer that question for everybody. So I'm creating a video here that might help you determine what you need to think about in terms of, do I buy an existing home or do I go for new construction? And look, I'm helping clients right now make the move to Utah from all over the country and even Canada and Brazil. And as I do this, I'm working with these people and everybody that I'm meeting with here in my office, as well as going out and looking at homes together, they're all curious. What should I consider? Should I look at the existing inventory or should I really focus on new construction? And look, I've had clients move here from Atlanta, for example, and they really wanted to live right in the middle of the city, close to Salt Lake City. And they really wanted one of those old homes in one of those old neighborhoods. And I can genuinely appreciate those that want those older homes because Salt Lake City has a lot of really cool older homes, especially the ones that have been renovated. And if not, you have a great opportunity to pick up a really cool piece of history and make it your own. On the flip side, I have so many people that are making the move here to Utah and they're really focused on the new construction aspect. And they're looking to live in the suburbs in a new subdivision that's no further away from the city than maybe 30, 35, or perhaps 40 minutes. And this really puts people out into Saratoga Springs, Lehigh, and Eagle Mountain, as well as down in South Jordan and Harriman in the southwest quadrant of the Salt Lake Valley, as well as to Willett County just out west. But as I'm talking to these people each and every single day, it's helping me to find out exactly what you are looking for when you're making the move to Utah. And in this video, I want to talk about what it means to go with existing construction versus new construction right here in Utah. And by the way, if we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Steele, and I absolutely love helping people discover all things Utah, especially Utah real estate. So if that's you, reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below, as well as the pinned comment on this and each and every one of my videos. So reach out to me. I would love to hear where you're coming from, but also to find out exactly what I need to do to best serve you making that move to Utah. Okay, as I mentioned before, a lot of people end up wanting to move here and find one of those older homes that they can either fix up or purchase one that's already already been renovated and have a place really close to the city. And I truly appreciate those neighborhoods. In fact, some of my favorite neighborhoods in all of the state of Utah are right in Salt Lake City. I love some of those old neighborhoods and I love those old homes. They just have so much character. But on the flip side, when people actually end up coming here and they start searching through the existing home inventory, they're finding that they have a very limited selection. So why is that? Well, the bottom line is we have an inventory shortage. Many people, most people in the state of Utah are not selling their homes. In fact, during the pandemic, as well as after the pandemic, we are experiencing extremely low levels of inventory for various different reasons. One of the reasons why we have low inventory today is the fact that we have higher interest rates. So the people that are locked into their homes and perhaps they've chosen to refinance or purchase in the last few years when they were able to get a 3% interest rate, now when the interest rates are at 7% or even up to 8% as they were late last year, they're not motivated to sell. They're simply not looking to trade in a low mortgage payment for an incredibly high mortgage payment for the same price home. And what that's done is it's really crippled people's ability to sell their homes. And naturally, by default, we end up seeing the prices be sustained or even rising because of it. And just to backtrack, just to give you a little bit of insight into what the market here in Salt Lake City and throughout Utah has done, in July of 2022, we really noticed a massive shift in the market. We saw the market flip the other direction and really go down. In terms of sales, the sales dropped the average price of the average home started to drop. And overall, from July 2022 through December, we saw prices decrease about 11% across the board. And of course, some areas experienced bigger decreases as well as some price points of homes. In fact, the more expensive the home was, the greater the decrease. But what happened in January of 2023? The market heated up yet again, and it really took off. We found ourselves right back into multiple offer scenarios throughout the spring and into the summer of 2023. And then in interest rates continued to climb and climb and climb throughout the year last year, and we saw the market just stabilize. What we've noticed is the inventory levels of existing homes have stayed far too low, which is in turn keeping those prices exactly where they are, and the market just kind of flatlined right across the board. And one thing that I've noticed as a byproduct of all of this happening is an increase in demand for new construction. Side of this equation, the builders were building so many homes throughout the pandemic, and the building has actually slowed down because 
because of the higher interest rates and the cost of money and the cost of doing business, but we still have an incredibly high demand for new construction because we simply don't have enough existing home inventory for people to actually purchase. And Utah is still growing at an incredibly high rate. And I wanted to point out something really creative that the builders are doing, especially in some neighborhoods, is they've really ramped up their builder incentives to the point where rather than lowering the prices of their homes, they're actually using a big chunk of that money to permanently buy down the rates so that people can actually get into the home and experience a mortgage payment that's far below what it would be as if you were buying an existing home at that same price point. And it's those builder incentives that really drive people towards new construction. I personally talk to people each and every single day that are so interested in new construction. And it's my job to know what the builders are up to and to know what their incentives are and to get the best possible prices and incentives for my clients as they move into new construction homes. And honestly, new construction is something I'm really passionate about. I absolutely love getting out there, meeting with the builders and meeting with clients and finding people their perfect brand new home. And just in the last four weeks alone, I think I've put more miles on my vehicle than I ever have before because of all the clients I'm helping serve in looking for new construction. I think I've talked to pretty much every single builder along the Wasatch Front at this point. And I hope to be the very best resource in terms of new construction and what I can do to serve people and find the right product for you. Because as you're shopping for new homes, you're going to walk into and talk to each and every builder and they're going to try to sell you on their product, but they're not looking out for your best interest and seeing what all of the other builders are offering. And that's my job. My job is to kind of be the guide and the central hub that will help you see what all of these different home builders are doing that can best serve you and your needs and your lifestyle. Okay, so let's break down the actual data about what people are choosing to do. What I've noticed, 38% of the people are choosing to purchase existing homes and the rest of the people, well more than half of the people are choosing to purchase new construction. New construction is booming in Utah and there's no end in sight. It just continues to grow. And with that said, the fastest growing county in all of Utah right now is Utah County. There's an incredible amount of new construction, not only in the northern part of Utah County in Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain and Lehigh, but also down in the south end in Spanish Fork and Payson, Springville and Mapleton. In fact, just this week, I was down in Mapleton showing properties to a brand new client of mine. And it was so fun to see all of the different construction that's happening right there in that neighborhood, as well as the surrounding neighborhoods. And to be honest with you, my favorite part about my job is to get out of this office and get out there with clients and just checking out properties and finding out what's best for you. So as we go through these properties and we talk about the different advantages and the pros and cons of one builder versus another builder, that's actually the thing that I enjoy doing the absolute absolute most. And it's exactly why I create videos just like this. So if you're looking to make a move to Utah, I would love for you to drop a comment below and let me know which areas you would like to see if you are indeed considering new construction. Because even though the weather today was really terrible, we had a big snowstorm blow through, the weather will soon change. Spring is just around the corner and it's my job to get out of my office, take this camera with me and show you guys all of the different subdivisions as well as the different builders and developments that are happening. And I would love to to hear which areas you'd like to see. So drop that comment so I know exactly where I need to go and show those areas to you first. All right, so here's something else that I wanted to touch on really quick. Okay, so if you're considering purchasing an existing home and you want to get into that home, there's advantages to that, of course. There are pros and cons to new construction and there are pros and cons to purchasing an existing home as well. The main advantage of purchasing an existing home, there are really three main advantages that I want to talk about when it comes to purchasing existing homes as opposed to new construction. Number one, you get your home right away. You don't have to wait for it. And as people are making the move to Utah, it can of course be very chaotic and stressful. And to actually know not only where you're going to be, but exactly when you're going to be able to move into your home is honestly a really big relief. It could be less stressful than purchasing new construction, in my opinion. Although I really enjoy the new construction process. And for me, honestly, I think it's a catch-22 because there are unknowns when it comes to existing homes that you just don't have with new construction as well. The other thing I wanted to talk about with existing homes, you're probably and more than likely going to have a lot or yard that's much bigger if you purchase existing homes versus new construction based on the same price point. So if you're purchasing a $600,000 home that's existing, that's maybe 20 or 30 years old, you're likely going to have a bigger yard than if you go with new construction. And the reason for that is we are just running out of land. And I know that seems odd here in Utah because it's such a large state, but to be honest with you, we don't have as much land as it appears on the map. Not very much of our land is super inhabitable because of the terrain, 
because of the mountains, because of the lakes, because of the desert. And so as we run out of land, these new developers are having to cram more homes into a small area. So instead of getting quarter acre lots, you might be getting 0.15 of an acre. You might get an eighth of an acre. So this is just where new construction has gone. That's not to say that you can't purchase a home with a half an acre or even a full acre with new construction. You're just likely going to have to be a little further away from the city to do so or spend a pretty penny to make that happen. And on the flip side with new construction, there's so many unknown elements when it comes to new construction. And this is one of my favorite parts of my job when helping serve people purchase new construction because over the course of that first year, a lot of things can pop up and things happen and those builder warranties that expire in the first year will probably turn up some things that need to be resolved. And so with each and every one of my clients that purchases new construction at the 10 month mark after moving into the new home, that's when I like to touch base and make sure that we check the property to see if there's anything that we need to reach out to the warranty department with the new builder to make sure that those things are resolved and taken care of before that warranty expires. So as most people that are making the move to Utah, it's 62% of people are choosing to go with new construction. And for so many reasons, the incentives are incredible. Although I do see some of those incentives really drying up here this year. If indeed interest rates come down as we think that they might, those builders might not be incentivized as much to give those great incentives in the near future. So if you're looking to purchase new construction or if you're looking to purchase an existing home, especially in the city, I'm here to be your resource and your guide. And if you're looking to learn more about what it's like to live in Utah, check out this video here. And until next time, thanks.